Yo, what's up guys, it's Cody. Today we're going to be going over a Magicka Templar build that I find to be very strong when you are put in a small scale group. I find the Magicka Templar to be a class to be played with at least one to two other people. Um, it's definitely not a solo class, but it can perform in solo, but it just won't be as good as if you were with a couple of people. So, we are not doing this in game because I do not have exactly everything and this is a website it's called ESO I don't, here's the link but yeah this is where I basically make all my builds now and it's a lot cheaper to, to go through this process instead of buying all the gear and then seeing what your stats actually look like and this is a pretty accurate representation of what the build would look like I'm pretty sure it's exact as the champion points as the race all the passives passives that you need i'll show you guys so we are running valken scoria wizards repost and transmutation and willpower so the wizards repost will be procced on the back bar it, it's a 15 second buff of minor maim on your enemies so that's why we're running it on our back bar as you can see we do have wizards repost when we switch to our back bar. Right now it doesn't say we do, but we are running Wizard's Paws chest, boots, and breeches. And when we switch to our back bar, we'll get the five piece. On the front bar, we have the willpower two piece, and we have the transmutation on our five piece. Our transmutation is gonna be procced with our extended ritual, which is purify, and Wizard's Paws obviously will just proc when people do critical damage to you. For our traits, we're running we're running mostly sturdy. We're running sturdy on our head and shoulders, our chest, our boots, and our pants. So right there, that is five sturdy. And then on our shield, we have six sturdy. So we're only running two impen. And the reason we're only running two impen is because we have a pretty solid amount of crit resist because of transmutation. And Magicka Templars work really well if you can block a lot. So that's why we're investing more into the sturdy trait. We're running all Magicka Enchanted Glyphs. And if you guys do not like Valken, this is more of an offensive set. If you want to be more of like a straight support healer, in CP campaigns, I'd run Pirate Skeleton. And in non-CP, I'd run Blood Spawn. Those are some really good options. We're running two spell damage, one regen. Um, on your Glyphs for the swords, I didn't enchant these, but you can through the website. I'd run one spell damage and like one Oblivion. That'd be pretty nice. And of course you can't. This is all golded, so... This is like the min-max. So yeah. Our skills, we have Channeled Focus, Puncturing Sweep, Toppling Charge, Purifying Light, Structure and Entropy. Now, you don't have to run these same bars. You can always slot um, and execute like Radiant Destruction. But I find Purifying Light to be just fine. And we are running Shuffle. We do, the have, we do have the Unchained passive, so we're going to be even tankier with Shuffle. This will cost nearly, nearly nothing when we get CC'd. So this is a really tanky damage templar supports build sort of deal so here's our major resolve major ward and some magicka sustain this is our dps our dps our gap closer our dps our major sorcery buff you can either run dawnbreaker or meteor it's up to you and of course on the back where we have misform we're definitely going to need that reflective light shuffle extend original honor the dead you can run Breath of Life and Spell Wall, which is a Sword and Bird ult. Now remember, you don't have to run these exact same skills, but this is what I would run if I played the Magic Exemplar. We, and we are a vamp. And as you can see, I did already have... I'll put this link in the description below, but I do have all the buffs that we would have if we were actually playing it. Templars do get Minor Sorcery, and we get Major Sorcery from our Structured Entropy. And these are the stats. We got 35k Max Magicka, 28k Max Health, which is a great amount of health especially in light armor F about 14k stam we have 1800 magic recovery that's with a tripod by the way we have 2561 spell damage and you can take a gander at the rest of the stats so if you're wondering how to use this website this is just a, like the display i call it the meta magic templar because how is wizards repository transmutation on meta we are in argonian i do find argonians to be probably one of the best races for a lot of the magic classes nowadays since 
the pot sustain and the healing and the health and the magicka is just all really beneficial. So yeah, if you guys are wondering how to use this, these are the skills. You can purchase the lines and everything. Um, if you're running like sets like transmutation, make sure it's toggled. If you can see on the right, it will change depending if you have it checked or unchecked. And these little things will do enchantments. So if we wanted to do, I'm not sure what it's called, but yeah, the, I don't know what the enchantment exactly is called. Okay, so it's called like weapon and then we'll make sure the quality is legendary and then we'll put that and there you go. And you can like look at all the raw data and if it doesn't look like 100% accurate, just tell me and it even has CP. So for our champion points, we are running 120 into the lady. So we do get that unchained passive so we can use shuffle at a really, really low cost, nearly nothing. So we have 43 into hardy and elemental defender and 34 into thick skin. And then we do have 66 into ironclad and 24 into resistant. For the blue tree, we have 66 in a Thaumaturge, since most of our damage do does come from dots. And we have 61 in an Elfborn, 64 in an Elemental Expert, and 19 in a Blessed. I didn't find Master Arms to be really beneficial for Magicka Templars, since most of our damage aren't is not really direct damage, so I didn't put any points in there. But correct me if I'm wrong. Um, we do have 72 points in a Shadow Ward, 23 in a Tumbling, 43 in Arcanist, and 72 in a Warlord. Everything is pretty damn accurate. These are all the buffs. I made sure to check like major endurance, major intellect for like the tripod and like major resolve since we're running channel focus, major sorcery since entropy, things like that. So yeah, this is a build that I've known for a while now. I don't play Magicka Templar personally since I am a solo player. And like I said before in the video, Magicka Templars are more for like group based type fighting. So yeah, but this is really good. You'll not only supply your group with 1300 crit resist but you'll also give them damage reduction since if you're attacked all the enemies have mine remain pretty much so this is definitely a great support build like i said with the valken you can change this up if you'd like and we are running tri food and we are an agonian now you don't have to be an argonian and you don't have to run everything but this is just what i would run on a magic and templar anyways guys it's cody i hope you guys enjoy if you want to check out this website i'll put all of that stuff in the description below and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.